Hello everyone, Joe Neat here, executive producer on Sea of Thieves with another weekly dev update. So we launched Curse Sales and it's gone great and it's been amazing to see all of the stories and the, the ingenuity of, of some of our players. And you know, Some of my favourite stuff has been the people that use the chest of sorrow on the skeleton ship, absolute genius. Um, obviously the skeletons haven't figured out how to deal with that one yet. Um, and people also using uh, the bucket to bail water onto skeleton ships to help them sink quicker and stuff. So like love seeing that kind of creativity and that just that um, imagination from players and things that we hadn't even really considered especially with the um, the chest of sorrow so like utter genius uh, like a little salute to whoever uh, whoever it was that came up with that to begin with and so that's what we love when we put out updates like this is seeing people come up with things that we hadn't really predicted um, so yeah super super cool uh, and Obviously, uh, with the Curse Sales as well, we've had a lot of feedback. So one change we've made based on the feedback has been offsetting the start times for battles in different parts of the world for week two and week three. So for people who have specific play times, they can really only get on and play Sea of Thieves. Um, they will hopefully be able to experience the battles in different parts of the world in week two and, and week three now. Uh, you know, it's, it doesn't fix everything. It doesn't deal with every bit of feedback, but it's kind of it's everything that we can do right now to, to make the tweaks to, to this campaign as it moves forward. Uh, and you know, beyond this, We'll take all of this feedback on board and we'll look at planning future campaigns and if we're going to do these kind of timed events and things then we'll, we'll take all this feedback on board uh, and improve for future events. So, you know, like everything, when we try something new, we try something different, we'll take feedback and we'll make improvements as best as we can at that time and we'll build it into our plans moving forward. So with week two of Curse Sales, there's now going to be new battles in each region for people to go and take on. So there'll be new skeleton crews, they'll be introducing new Curse Cannonballs as well. Uh, so again, it's going to be really interesting to see how people react to that and um, uh, what people kind of experience from the different crews. And I think the crews also have different skeleton forms within as well as part of the balancing. So again, that experience should feel quite cool, quite different for, for week two. So looking forward to seeing the stories and the moments that people come up with out of this. So other improvements we've made to the Curse Sales battles. One is we've increased the time between when a battle finishes before another battle starts. And that's to allow people who have defeated those skeleton ships to gather up that loot and to get out of the area before kind of another crew arrives, before another the skeleton ship uh, spawns. So Previously, if you kind of went away from a battle area, whether that was because you sailed away, or like to collect resources, or you got sunk and, and kind of put somewhere else in the world, uh, there was a timer in terms of when that battle would despawn and the skeleton ships would go away. So we've increased that timer now. So there's more chance for you to go away and collect resources, more chance if you've been sunk and respawned on uh, you know, the other side of the world, for example. Um, so you'll be able to get back there and continue the battle. And another improvement we've made, we've increased the amount of time that the barrels of plenty float on the surface in the, in the skeleton battles. So you've got more chance to get in there, grab more resources and kind of continue the battle. So all of these changes have been based on feedback uh, and you know, balancing and tuning the difficulty and the experience for everyone. So yeah, those will all be in for the build coming out today. One of the other major changes we've made for week two for Curse Hells is we've managed to re-enable the skeleton forts. Uh, so a lot of work been going on behind the scenes here on performance and enabling them to play nicely alongside the skeleton ships themselves. Uh, so those will be re-enabled for players. So you'll have that choice when you see that skull cloud of like, do you go, you know, do you maybe go across to the skeleton fort and, and a trust that it might be a bit emptier because people are taking part in the curse sales battles. So it should be some interesting kind of dynamics at play there. So really glad that we've managed to get that back on so swiftly. Alongside the skeleton forts, work continues on the Kraken because the Kraken is a complex beast pun intended, um, in terms of getting that back on and making sure that it plays nicely with everything else in the world from a performance perspective. So yeah, so work continues on that. No EGA right now, uh, but, but you know, all efforts are to get that back on as soon as we can. One of the other issues that we saw was uh, unintended ghost ships, which was where uh, the skeleton ships would spawn, but they didn't have skeletons on them, uh, making them a little bit too easy for players to, to defeat them. So uh, we fixed that now, that should be sorted for this. So that wraps up all of the key points that are in the build uh, coming out today. If you want to see more detail, you can just go to seeathieves.com uh, where we put the build notes up and also in the forum. So looking a little bit beyond Curse Sales, uh, the, the Curse Sales team, their effort right now is really on working on the skeleton ships and getting them into a place that we can get them released into the world beyond the campaign. Uh, and if you think about the, me the Megalodon and how that was introduced into the world and the kind of the emergent threat that, that, that now it becomes, we want to make sure that the skeleton ships come into the world and, and offer something cool along the same lines, but also a little bit unique around 
you know, the, the skeleton ships themselves, that they, they offer a, a different experience, but something that still has that richness of emergence uh, for players. So, yeah, there's some really cool stuff going on with that. And we like look forward to revealing exactly how they're going to be a part of the world beyond Curse Sales fairly soon. So finally, one other thing to look out for this week is our video of the Comic-Con panel from San Diego, uh, where we talked all about lore and we had our special guest, Freddie Prince Jr., will be coming out Thursday, so tomorrow. Um, so yeah, look forward for that and love to see the questions and, and feedback around that. So thanks for listening as always. Uh, we look forward to week two of Curse Sales and, and getting more feedback and uh, seeing where we go from here. So thanks very much and I'll see you on the seas. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to stay up to date with everything Sea of Thieves, then subscribe to our channel and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers. Don't worry, I'll, I'll just wait here. I'm not doing, not doing much anyway. A couple of, couple of good videos there if you want to watch. <laughs>